for all of the immigration priorities that you listed in your tweet? Or are you leaving some room for negotiation there? I'll always leave room for negotiation, but this has been many years. This isn't just Trump administration. We're new. There's been many years, even decades. We have uh, immigration laws, we have border security, we have all sorts of things going on that are, it's disgraceful. We are doing a phenomenal job. We're setting records, but we have laws that don't work. So we're working around those laws, and it's unfortunate. I have to take my, my hat off to the border patrols for the law enforcement, to ICE, which really has been maligned by the Democrats, the job they do. They go into these MS-13 nests, the nests of bad, bad people, killers in many cases. And they go in there fearless, and they do an incredible job, and they get them out. They either go to jail or they get out of the country. So I want to just take my hat off to ICE and the brave people that have really been maligned by the Democrats. Uh, we need border security. Without a border, as this gentleman can tell you also, because the prime minister really was, uh, was a very big factor in his win, and other people's win in Italy. But it was a big factor in my win. We need border security. Border security includes the wall, but it includes many other things. We have to end the lottery. We have to end the chain. The chain is like a disaster. You bring one person in, you end up with 32 people. We have to end these horrible catch and relief, release principles where you catch somebody, you take their name and you release them. You don't even know who they are. And then they're supposed to come back to a court case where they want us to hire thousands of judges. The whole thing is ridiculous. And we have to change our laws. And we do that through Congress. So I would certainly be willing to close it down to get it done. As you know, we are already approving things in various bills, including we're going to be taking care of the military. We always put the military and law enforcement very high. But I would be certainly willing to consider a shutdown if we don't get proper border security.